So who, who do you film for, sir? Breitbart. Breitbart. So, um, so Breitbart's website? Yeah. What's the plan then, you think? Bill, Bill is it up. Can I ask you a couple of questions? So, uh, sir, can I ask you a couple of questions? There's this organization called ALEC. Are you familiar with it? The American Legislative Exchange Council? Yeah. Sir, I'm just trying to ask you a couple of questions. Are you familiar with ALEC? You're not familiar with the American Legislative Exchange Council. Are you familiar with what ALEC does? I've heard of it. I don't know much about it. Well, I, I implore you to look into it. Because as a... Okay, so... The, the, as a, you, you do believe in capitalism? I believe... Okay, so capitalism is a, is a functioning system, right? What is, what is the, 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 the largest uh, threat to capitalism functioning properly? I would say collusion between corporations and the government. Exactly. So what would you think if I told you that the American Legislative Exchange Council functioned as a shadow government where corporate lobbyists and state representatives sat on committees together that mirrored state, committee, state legislative committees and voted on model legislation that then the ALEC legislative members, these are state representatives, senators, and, and, and assembly people, are charged to take them back to their state and are pressured to pass them as law. That sounds a lot like collusion between between corporate interests and the government. Well, you're leaving a whole lot out of, of what what they're talking about legislating. I mean, you're you're saying that they can't got together and decide. no, they got together behind closed doors with no with no accountability, no transparency, and they vote as equals on legislation that then the representatives are pressured. Uh, there's an expectation that they will take them back to their states and pass them into law. How is that not collusion? Well, you don't think they're allowed to lobby. You, do, you don't want them to lobby. But they don't claim that they're a lobby organization. They have. They are tax exempt as a charity. Well, I'm they, not for anybody being tax exempt. Right. They claim to be a non-profit organization that can, that that does zero lobbying. Uh -huh. So they are not lobbying. They're they're claiming to be an educational group. They are voting as equals to put laws to pr produce laws right. and then pass them in their states. How is that not collusion? The, the representatives are members of the organization. Yeah, equal members and, and, and corporations. Walmart is the chair of the of the defense committee. Walmart is the, I mean, the private. The, the, the people, the people obviously should try to unelect those people. But they, there's no transparency. There's it's a private organization. Their their membership Plus is you have secret. Media. I mean, can't you? Yeah, raise awareness yes. for your Yes. The Center for Media and Democracy released an exp uh, 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 report yesterday called Alec Exposed, you should check it out, and I implore you to, to report on it, because it is, it is damning to a capitalist society. Uh -huh. it, is the it, is, it, is, it is the foundation of fascism, and it will, it will bring down our country. It is corporate interests dictating American policy. That has to be, a, uh, you have to be afraid of that, right? Are you a capital? So Air Environmental uh, injected three times the amount of human waste into, uh, into farmland that neighbored residential wells without, the, without a permit. Now, Clayfish, do you know Cl Representative Clayfish? His wife is the lieutenant governor who's being recalled. He argued that they should get off scot-free for injecting human waste into residential farm farmland and residential wells. What about protesters that use human waste against the banks? Is that okay? That's gross. And I'd, I'd like it even less in my drinking water. See, what, what Air Environmental did was they injected human waste into the ground without regulation, exceeding their limit, within hundreds of feet from, from residential drinking wells, and Representative Clayfish was lobbying the, the DNR to, to let them go without any citations. Okay, what about this protest today here? They're talking about this financial transactions tax. Yeah. Can you tell me about the financial transactions tax? Well, we pay, That's what I'm we, interested in. Sure, we pay, a ta we pay tax every time we buy anything. We pay a sales tax. <laughs> now, there are lobbyists and, and, and corporate, and they're, they're traders, who buy and sell things hundreds of times, millions of times a month without paying any tax. So they're making money and off, of, off of our industry. They all make money? Well, unless, they, unless they're making risky, or no, they don't all make money. But the profits that they do make do not represent the products that they produce. Uh -huh. What is the product? They all of, make what is the pro profits? Well, what is the product of, of financial, uh, of, of Wall Street? What, is the, what does Wall Street produce? Wall Street. What does Wall, what does the financial industry produce? At least liquidity in the financial market. No. What do they produce? I, I, I don't know. They don't produce anything. That's right. 
Okay. The 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 so, financial industry does so not what? produce anything, so and yet they are allowed matter? to they are allowed to participate in their commerce without paying any taxes. But they provide liquidity to the. No, market. they don't. They don't. No, I don't. Okay. I can't get so a loan. How does the? Can you get a loan? No. No, they don't provide liquidity. How does the financial market work? How does this tax work? This, it's this, a marginal tax on transactions, it's just not, like we pay. How much is the tax? Well, that's, I mean, that's up to, for debate. No, Different they, they set an amount no, that they, they can, want to tax per contract. Well, I don't, I'm not familiar with that. A dollar. They said one dollar per contract. I, buy that, I'm, I don't think you're correct on that. They're, they're promoting these, this tax in any different country, however it wants to be implemented in that country. The point is, there is no tax right now. So they are making, they are, they are trading a, a product. How much is a fair tax then on, on a percentage? A percentage? Yeah, a marginal of percentage what? of the value of what they're trading. Go for My it. My question is to you: a, a dollar or, or a I'm percentage? Not, okay. A percentage. Yeah. Now, or a fraction this, of a percentage. This, a fraction of a percentage. Sure. Is this on 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 commute on on currencies on uh, securities and futures and options or is this? That's just a great a, question. That's a question that would have to be hashed out. That's and that's the type of place where you could compromise, right? You can't you can't have this debate when there's when there's one side of the of the debate that's saying flat out no, we will never do it. Well, all these people here today, they're all. You're saying all of these for, people are cheering for something specific? They were all cheering for financial transactions tax. Sure. So, I mean. So you're you're trying you're trying to ask me what the specifics of this should be? Yeah. And I'm saying the financial transaction tax should exist. The specifics can be hashed out, but the fact that they don't pay any tax. On, on financial transactions is wrong.